Hi guys, you're welcome to another tutorial and I'm Sir Classy. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you what I believe is the easiest compressor to use. This compressor is one of my main go-to compressors for vocals and even for drums as well. The reason why I love using this compressor, the reason why I love using this compressor is because the presets are amazing. The presets are just, it just magically fits into most of my vocals when I want to add a compressor to it. So for vocals, I typically use the session bank tight vocals. That's what I typically use. And if it's for drums, I typically use drum punch or tape drums or snappy mix. But for vocals, I always use tight drums. Sorry, tight vocals. If the um the threshold, if the vocals so much of a dynamic range to it, I use tight vocals. But if there's no much dynamic range to it, it's just an expressive singer without much dynamic range. I can use either smooth vocals or smooth vocal compressor. So let's try out the tight vocals and I'll explain what the buttons in here do. So let's listen to the compressor off. I'll turn it off. I know what's on your mind Girl, let's get comfortable You know that I'm for real You know that I'm for real so, I let, so let me turn it on now and you listen I know what's on your mind Girl, let's get comfortable You know that I'm for real You know that I'm for real I hope if you notice what the compressor did, it made the vocal become more upfront, added a little thickness to it, and also a little bit of shine to it as well. So that's what I love about this compressor. The compressor has its own character for sound. So I just love this compressor for that aspect. So this drive is kind of like a saturation um, button in the compressor. So this drive, it also works with the threshold also. The, dri the drive and the threshold are in, they are joined together as a single button. So the more I increase the drive, the more I increase the drive, the more thresh, the more the compressor will work and also the more saturation will be added to the vocal. So you be careful not to go overboard so it won't sound kind of distorted. Let's say it sounds when I take it all the way up. I know what's on your mind. Girl, let's get comfortable. You know that I'm for real. You know that I'm for real. I hope so what I did, although it didn't cause distortion because I recorded the vocals in, in safe levels. But if your vocals are already loud or your um instrument is already loud, it can cause distortion if you take it all the way up here. So we just leave it at let's say 25, 25 and 33. You can just leave it within that range usually. And then the attack is how soon or how fast the compressor starts working on the audio file, or sorry, on the on the audio that is coming into the compressor. And the release is how fast it actually like lets go of the um, audio. So since we selected a tight vocal, what it does is that it uses short attack time and short release time so that it releases, it attacks really fast and releases really fast so that it, it works on it like it works on it really, really fast. So the compressor right now is really, really fast on the vocal, making it tight and reducing the dynamic range, making it as um, as fixed as possible within a particular dynamic range. So that's what I love about this compressor. And also you can add some saturate, like you can have um, your valve, you can have valve, you can have, you can add different, um, you can add, you have different options here to add to your saturation for your um, compressor. Like if you see the mode, typically I prefer the crisp, the crisp hard that's what i prefer most times and then my style depends on what you are mixing if you are mixing vocals you may want to pick clear so it won't have too much um artifacts or too much um tone of the compressor or if you like the tone of the compressor you can say let me be warm to make it sound warmer make it sound a bit heavier or snappy it all depends on what you are trying to achieve but this to me is the easiest compressor to use and also one of the most beautiful compressors out there right now. To me, this is by Voxengo or Voxenjo. Voxenjo Compressor. Sorry, Cronchessor. Voxenjo Cronchessor. So I'm still trying to, I'm still trying to get used to the name. 
but yeah this is it this is like one of the easiest compressors i've ever used and i use it all the time if even if i don't use it as my first compressor i use it as my like final compressor to just add tone and character to my vocals or my drum boss so yeah that's it guys for this tutorial and i'll see you on the next episode of my tutorial hit the subscribe button and leave a comment below if you've used this compressor before do you like it what don't you like about it do you have a better option what option do you think what else do you think is, is a simpler compressor than this i'll read in your comments and i'll be replying to every single comment see you on the next tutorial cheers